What's up, everybody? What's up, everybody? How are you today? <laughs> Do you like paella? I love paella. I've never made paella. I'm here to learn. I'm Canadian. I'm an idiot. But I do know how to cook, and I'm gonna try to do it. I've never made a paella ever. We got some bomb rice. We gotta make a sofrito. We got some shishitos, because I just wanna pop a couple shishits in the old jaw hole. So let's get at it and build out some fundamentals and see where I land, okay? First things first, I wanna make our sofrito. We got a red pepper here. So I'm just gonna take like two, two pieces. I want it to be a little bit spicy. So we're gonna put in a whole jalapeno. Let's not kid ourselves. I'm gonna put a whole jalapeno in. We're gonna just cut this up into pieces. We have these nice spring onions. Cut these up, we'll use those. We'll even put the greens in. A little bit of the greens is beautiful. A little bit of garlic. Also, hey! I'm Maddie Matheson, welcome to Cooking Some. I'd like to say, hey, calm down. I'm Maddie Matheson, this is Cooking Something. I'd like to thank our sponsors, Helix Sleep. Take a dive into that. Take a nap, take a sleep, take a load off. Jump into that mattress, have the best sleep of your life. Helix Sleep makes premium mattresses and bedding that are customized to fit your needs. They made the sleep quiz to match your unique body type and sleep preferences to make the perfect mattress for you. It's soft. It's cushy. It makes me sleep all through the night. It's like being held by a loved one forever. I love it. With your Helix Sleep Mattress, you get a 100 night sleep trial, along with a 10 year warranty, and there are financing options and flexible payment plans. The best part about all of this is that Helix delivers your mattress right to your door for free within the US. Click the link below or go to helixsleep.com backslash Matheson for up to $200 off your Helix Sleep mattress plus two free pillows. Thanks for that, okay? We're gonna blend this up, couple glugs of some olive oil. Holy f okay, blended. Oh, the peppers, the garlic, oh, the onions. And now we got our sofrito. It smells so fresh and beautiful. I'm not even gonna use all of it. I'm using half of it. A Little bit of olive oil, a little more oil in there. We're just gonna cook this out. You can really kind of take your time and cook the sofrito. And that's the thing that makes and really develops the flavor. <laughs> Ahem! I went down to a little market today. We had some fresh shrimps. We had some baby octopus snappers that they carved up. They had a cuttlefish. I was like, beautiful. So I'm gonna just kind of cut this up and just make a little incision. We won't need this part. This part, like the head and the connective tissues, no good. Let's see if we got a beak in here. No, we're cool. Cut the mouth out, you don't need that. So I'm cutting the tentacles into three pieces. Take your squid or your cuttlefish here. Take the fin off and just kind of carve around the fin. And there's a little bit of skin here and you can just peel that skin off. We've got a nice squid steak. We're gonna cut it in half and then we're gonna cut it again into these kind of strips here. And we're gonna fry these up on the plancha and we're gonna just make a cross hatch all the way across. And then that will make sure that it fries up nice and gentle. Okie dokie, Smokies. We're gonna come back over here, give this a little stir. Our sofrito's cooking nicely. At this time, we're gonna add some spices. Cayenne, some chili, and some paprika. Stir that, let that wake up. Oh yeah, it's coming alive. We got a lot, a lot of nice stuff happening here. Now, I'm gonna add one cup of rice. Now we're just gonna cook this out a little bit till it's nice and translucent and incorporate all the sofrito in with the rice. You don't, I don't want like a huge pillow of rice. You know, this, this is, I'm trying to make like a nice, thin, crispy paella. Make that rice feel nice. We have some beautiful tomato puree, like a half a cup. Just cook this out for a minute, okay? It's okay. The sofrito, it's really nice. She's real nice. Now I'm gonna add chicken stock. Oh, look at this color. I'm gonna season with some pepper, some fresh cracked pepper right now too, and some salt. I'm doing little circles and just trying to incorporate all of the flavor evenly. Saffron's very expensive, very flavorful, so not too much. Now, we just have these little bubbles and we just have to cook the rice. And so I'm thinking, this is gonna take about 15, 20 minutes. And we wanna cook it like medium heat, cook it through gently, and then the last like 10 minutes, we're gonna turn it up, 
and kind of try to get that. Socrates, Socrates. Ah, uh, I know I'm saying it wrong. Don't put me in jail. I love you. Okay, so we got a little olive oil. We're gonna do a little olive oil. We're gonna put our cuttlefish down and we're gonna put the weight on. And that's just gonna help it stay right there. Fry up our little octopus. Fry up our shrimps. And just kind of cook all this stuff here. Just a couple of minutes aside, just kind of get a little bit of color on them. A little bit of flavor. I'm liking what's happening. I'm liking what's happening here. We're frying up on the plancha all of our shellfish and seafood. Now, we want to put in our clam and our mussels. We want to decorate into a really nice little paella. Okay, now, we got our octopus. We got our shrimps. We got our fishies. We got our tentacles. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Right now, this is, this is, we're full here. Oh, mama, and this is just gonna steam away now. Beautiful seafood paella, and we just got that nice medium heat. This is bubbling and cooking away. This is beautiful. While this is steaming, though, I wanna get shishitos ready. I'm gonna make an aioli, and we're gonna have some really nice, like, baguette. So I'm gonna clean up. It's getting a little hectic. Let's fucking go, okay? Let's clean it up. All right, our paella is just sitting there bubbling. It's getting really close. Just waiting for the clams to open up. Let's make a quick aioli. Just get yourself a little mortar pistol, pistol, mortar and pistol. Pistol, pistol? You know, I don't know the words. I'm Canadian. I'm an idiot. You know, it's a fact. So I'm putting in about four of the world's smallest cloves of garlic. We got a tablespoon of Dijon. We need a yolk of an egg. Wow! So just let the whites fall into a beautiful garbage can. Add the yolk. Wash your hands. You know, cooking isn't pretty. You know, we love it. 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 Okay? We need some anchovy. I like putting anchovy in my aioli. Put like three fillets in there. Little lemon juice. Little acid. We're just gonna mince this up. And then we're just gonna emulsify it. We just wanna smash up the anchovy, the garlic. Ooh. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. Now, I'm thinking that this is done. I don't know, let me see a little. Ah! I'll never memorize where anything is in this place, I'll tell you that much. Hey, calm down. Just a little nibble for me. The saffron. All the flavor of this shellfish is going through this. Really nice. See that? That's what's happening. Big dog's pumped up. That's spicy. I made this spicy. <laughs> Let's make an aioli. We're gonna just drizzle some olive oil. So I'm just making a little hand jobby. This is the weirdest way I've really made aioli because this thing I don't think is really a good one, but you know, we're figuring it out. We're working our way through it. I'm here to learn. You can't stop me. Woo! Big dog's sweating over here making aioli. Look at that. That's nice aioli. That's good aioli. Do you want some chives? I like chives. Why don't we slice some up and we'll garnish the paella with it, okay? Little lemon. Now, let's get this pan hot as Couple bread bowl. There you go. There's a nice little bread bowl there. Okay, this pan's hot. Paella, aioli. We need some shishits, okay? Ripping hot pan. Just gonna blister these up. Little salt in there. And you just saute them. No lemon juice. A little pepper. Yeah! There we go. Guys! Cooking something! This is what I'm talking about. I'm just sweating. Big dog's moving around. We're doing stuff. We're talking about it. We're cooking seafood and shellfish and making paella, making a nioli, blistering up some sushitos. Come on! Come on! Now, here we go. The rice. I just want to try the rice. Like the individual rice is so crispy and beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna make a little plate here. Got a little prawn, a little clam, a little cuttlefish. What else do we need? We need a mussel, a little aioli on the side for some dippers, a little extra lemon, a little bread. I don't know, man. It's about the rice. You know these like little crispy bits? Little crispy bits, a little bit of that aioli. That's what it's all about, that crunch. Cuttlefish. Little clam dog in it. Shishitos. Praya. Oh my god. This is fire. This is so good. 
Like this shit is fire. The rice is my favorite part, which I think is the point. Wow. The octopus. It's really good. All of these recipes are the ones that you guys wanted me to cook, so this is good food time, man. I'm Matt Matheson. Thanks to our sponsors, Helix, Sleep. Put your little head down. This is cooking something. I'm Matt Matheson. World peace. Love you. I hate you. It's fire. This is so good. Okay, try this. This is fucked.